guys. I think it worked. Wow, that's one way to drop into the video. So today we will be talking about this man, Matt Aiken, visual effects supervisor at Weta Digital, born 25th of August 1956 in Coventry, England. <sighs> Matt started his career as a digital compositor for the 1995 movie Napoleon, after which he quickly got into visual effects. Even if you're not familiar with Matt Aiken himself, you're probably familiar with his work, which includes, for example, things like Frighteners, the Lord of the Rings trilogy, Rich to Terabithia, Avatar, the Hobbit trilogy, and he's even won Academy Awards for the best visual effects for movies such as District 9 and Avengers Endgame. With Matt's work ethic, everything becomes bigger than life itself, and because of his creativity, he will always find a way to make the impossible possible. He is partially the reason why some of my favorite movies stuck with me all this time. So Matt Aitken, who's, who's head of the uh, modeling department here, he found this, this really neat little handheld scanner, uh, laser scanner sort of thing. It was actually built for the meat industry here, which is interesting. The New Zealand sheep industry, basically, they, they would scan meat carcasses with it and they would check for shrinkage on a day-to-day -day basis. So you can go up to basically anything and, and just kind of wave it over. It's like waving this wand over the face and it, and it literally scans it in. So you can, you can actually rub in certain areas and get more detail, like in the eyes and, you know, broader detail in the chest and, and it all, uh, it's pretty cool. Pretty cool indeed. All in all, Matt Aiken, to me, is a hero, a regular man who followed his dream of becoming a visual effects artist. And with that being said, Matt, what advice do you give young professionals who are hoping for a career in visual effects? It's great that people are enthusiastic about this work and, and want to work in this field and want to work on these films. I mean, they're incredibly satisfying projects to work on. Um, they're hard, but I think um, the payoff is huge as a result. Um, so yeah, it's great that people are interested. I think people should just really work out what they're passionate about, work out what they really love doing and, and get very good at it.